And knowing that I'm part of that experience is just really nice. And I like to know that people are doing these things and it's so much more beyond me. For seven years, Altenew has been designing beautiful, innovative paper crafting products. Today, for the first time, we get to hear some behind the scenes secrets about the product design process. Let's find out what it takes to design your favorite stamps and paper crafting supplies. Hi, I'm Jen from Altenew and I am one of the co-founders. So Tasneem and I had this idea for a stamp company back in April 2014 and I'm so happy to see our journey from where we've started to where we have come. And for the most part, I do a lot of product designing and developing of new products and exciting new categories to offer at altenew.com. And I also enjoy doing some of the behind the scenes work that you might not realize goes into the process of creating a stamp or product from start to finish. It really is an awesome job and I'm so happy that I get to be creative every single day. So when it comes to making a new design, the first step is brainstorming. And I feel like sometimes I get an idea right away. I might be out in the world somewhere and something sparks my creativity and I think that's gotta be a stamp set. Other times it's a little more forced where I need to sit down and say, this is my time right now to come up with some ideas. So the process kind of changes just depending on what's going on in my life at that time, how my mood is, how my creativity feels, if I'm in a slump, if I'm feeling really motivated. But once I get through the brainstorming process comes the design process. Now this happens much earlier than some people realize. We're usually working about half a year in advance so when I'm coming up with ideas for, let's say, a seasonal holiday release, I'm not really thinking of snow yet because it's still summertime, but you've got to put yourself in that mindset. What's really funny is my husband sometimes has to deal with me putting on Christmas music in July because that helps get me in the mood for doing a holiday release. And same thing happens for other holidays or seasons throughout the year that we like to touch upon at Altenew with our different products. So anything that I can do to kind of get in the mindset of an upcoming season or a future holiday really helps as I'm doing my design process. Since we love flowers so much at Altenew, I really tend to get a lot of my ideas and inspiration from nature. So that could be by going on a walk out in my neighborhood or outside or out in the city. And the different things that I see and find may spark an idea for a stamp set. Now I always have my phone with me, so that means I always have a camera on board to take some photos if needed. And there have been quite a few Altenew flower stamp sets that have come directly from photos that I've taken either while on vacation or like I said, just walking around my neighborhood. I also get a lot of different ideas just being involved in the creative community and in the crafting community. So if I see products that kind of look like they have been around for a while or ideas that, you know, kind of have looked the same for many, many years, that might help inspire me to see if I can improve upon that idea. Has anybody ever made a stamp set like this, but now I'm going to elevate it into a new place and make it something unique and wonderful so that it keeps everything fresh and the customers aren't seeing a repetitive mix of a lot of the same products over and over again. And on the same token, also looking and seeing what else is out there in the industry is helpful because I'm able to see what hasn't been done at all yet. So maybe there's a new idea that doesn't seem like it's represented at all. So that's something that we wanna do to make sure that we're keeping everything innovative and fresh here at Altenew. So back when Altenew started, the whole entire team of designers was just me and Tasneem. And she and I really complemented each other well because we had a similar aesthetic for design and we had a lot of things that we really loved and I really admired her work as an artist and she did the same of mine, she admired what I did. So it was really a fantastic pairing. But as the company grew over the years, we realized that we definitely needed to get some help for designing because new releases going from once every three months, which is what we did in the beginning, to now multiple releases every month, there's no way that just the two of us could keep up with all of that. So we have a few other girls on our team who does 
certain designs for us, not as frequently as myself and Tasneem, so we're still pretty much the lead designers when it comes to the Alta New stamps, dies, stencils, embossing folders, and other products. But we do have about three other girls who contribute on a regular basis, and it's just really nice getting to see their perspectives as well. We really do like to make elegant and creative and modern products and designs, but we also like to experiment with different categories. So you might see something that's more whimsical or something else that's more geometric or something that looks like a painting. So that way, no matter what creative look you're going for, we've got something for you. When I first started designing products, I had a lot of experience drawing, but not a lot of experience using different things like tablets or Adobe Illustrator. So I was really starting from scratch when it came to all of that. And I would draw something on a piece of paper with a pencil or a pen, and I would think, how does this become a stamp? So getting that to translate from paper and pencil to a digital format was really difficult for me at first. So there was quite the learning curve, but I did eventually get through it. I would say it took a little over a year before I started to feel really comfortable with the tools I was using. And even to this day, it takes a long time to create a stamp, but not just because of the technology or because of the process of getting an idea and getting it down, but there's so much refinement that goes into a design. So let's say, for example, I'm doing a flower set. Well, is that going to be a layering set or is that going to be an outline set? If it's an outline set, it doesn't take as much time to put together. But a layering set, on the other hand, has so many other components. Now, is it going to be a two-step layering, three-step layering? Where are those shadows going to be? How is the petal curled? Where would the sunshine be hitting that petal? Where is that shading going to be? So you go ahead and you think these things and you draw them in and then you tweak them until they look right. So I might spend hours and hours and hours on a stamp set and then you know, decide I can't look at my screen anymore, my eyes are getting tired, let me look at this again tomorrow and I can revisit it again and keep working on it. And you know, from start to finish, it could go from maybe four hours to like 16 hours plus, who knows, I really don't figure out how much time I work on each set because a lot of times as I'm doing a release, I will kind of hop around from set to set. Once you have all the elements in place, then you also need to figure out where they're gonna be on the stamp set itself because we have a limited format of either four by six or six by eight. We also have two by three and each of these sets needs a different artboard size. So I need to make sure to maximize that artboard so that the customer is getting as much value as possible for what they're paying. So I wouldn't wanna have a stamp set that just has three or four elements with a lot of wasted space in between. So at that point, it becomes a puzzle game where you're moving everything around like Tetris, trying to get it all to fit. And with any remaining space, got to put a sentiment in there or you've got to put a little heart or some little dots or something that the stamper can use as they're creating so that it wasn't just wasted space. Now I would say that the layered flowers for sure take the longest to design and the things that are the quickest would be like a sentiment set. But that doesn't mean those are easy either because a lot of time goes into choosing the wording for the sentiments, the fonts, especially if you're combining fonts. But it's a really fun process and I do like how these sentiment stamp sets do come together a little bit more quickly. So if I'm kind of oh, getting stuck on one of those more elaborate sets, then I could take a little breather by doing a sentiment stamp set and then come back to it because I always want this process to be enjoyable and at any point if I'm feeling like I'm not being creative I'm not doing my best work the best thing is to just set it aside and come back to it once the whole design and manufacturing process is complete the best part happens and that's when we actually get the physical product in our hands and it's a surreal thing that I really haven't gotten over yet. I remember the first time in our very first release when I got those products in the mail, it was better than Christmas morning. It was the best thing I could have asked for. I took pictures, I sent them to my mom. I was so proud and I was so happy. And I just felt really grateful that this idea that Tasneem and I had was actually coming to life. And I wondered if that feeling would ever go away. And if it did, that would be fine. But it really hasn't. I get these products in the mail and of course now my packages are way bigger than they used to be back then because not only am I getting stamps and dies and stencils and embossing folders and embellishments, I might be getting inks 
and paper and all these other fun goodies. And it really is like a crafter's dream. So they all show up at my doorstep and I open them up one by one and I take a look at it and it's still just this amazing feeling to be like, I remember those hours I put into this project. I remember going through and moving every little detail just to get it perfect the way I had it in my mind. And now here it is months later. Remember this process takes a long time. So I'm looking at things in person that I hadn't looked at digitally in a really long time. So I get to see it in person and it's just a really nice feeling. And I wonder what I'm gonna do with that stamp set. What's the first project I'm going to create with it. But then I also wonder what the design team is going to do with it and what the customers are going to do with it. And when we get to the blog hop day, that's the next best day because, you know, I got to see the product in person, but now at the blog hop, I get to see it being used for the first time by all of the talented designers on our team. And it, it's really cool when I see it being used in a way that I wouldn't ever expect. You know that every artist has a different interpretation and the way that one person uses something might be completely different from the way someone else uses it. So when I design, I have in my head how I would use that set but it's so different than what everybody else does. So I think that it's really a humbling and special experience for me to get to see that. And I'm telling you, it never gets old. Every month I look forward to it, it's so great. One of the best things about working for Altenew is the team that we have and the family that we've created. And I feel like that helps motivate me to continue on with this company and doing the best that I possibly can and to continue creating amazing products, not just for the girls on our team, but also for the customers, the people who might need crafting to get through a difficult time in their life, the people who do crafting for therapy, the people who do crafting as just an excuse to hang out with their friends and do something creative together. It's not always easy to design. When it's easy to design, it's a good day. There's a lot of other factors that go into that. And sometimes it's a little more difficult. So being stressed or if I'm having something going on in my life that's making it more difficult, I always remind myself of why I'm doing it. And that really helps to keep me going. Choosing a favorite product is like choosing a favorite pet or a favorite child. I think it's impossible. I don't have children, but I imagine that would be impossible. So for me, I've designed so many sets and I've been on this creative journey with all of them. And they really all are important to me, even the ones that I don't like, like anymore. If I look back at some of my earlier designs, sometimes I think, whoa, I can't believe I did that. Or oh, I really thought that that was my best work at the time. And I guess it was at the time. But, you know, I feel like through all of this, I have a few different favorite stamp sets. And the ones I think are my favorite are the ones that I grab most often when I'm actually stamping. So for that, I would say anything from the Mega Greetings series I love, just because it's a great way to add a bold impact onto your card. It's big, it covers up the whole card, so if you don't wanna add extra embellishments, you don't have to, it's quick and easy. You can use pattern paper and then stamp a bold sentiment on it. So it really is a versatile one to have in the craft room and you really have a lot of occasions that can be covered with those Mega Greeting stamp sets. And I can't work at Altenew and not pick a favorite flower. So right now my favorite is the Spotted Orchid stamp set. And I really like that one because it was a fun one to design. It's a fun one to stamp out and orchids come in such beautiful colors. So you could really get creative with your ink selection. And there are these little spots on the petals which look fantastic stamped in a coordinating color. They look fantastic stamped in black because it adds a lot of contrast. And they look beautiful when you emboss them either in like white or in gold or silver. So there's a lot of things that you can do with that stamp set to really elevate the design. So for that reason, I think that's my favorite floral that I've worked on. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you learned something new about what it's like to be behind the scenes at Altenew and how a stamp set goes from an idea to an actual finished product. Thank you for joining us for our seventh anniversary as well and for all the support over the years. Always remember to craft your life. Hello crafters, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.